So these are all maxed out gear mods, and if you'd like to know how to farm for them, then stick around. Welcome back everyone to another Tom Clancy's The Division 2 video. Today we are going to be talking about farming for max mods. What are the fastest ways to farm them? How to increase your chances of getting them? All that good stuff. So before we get started, let me just mention that if you're trying to craft a max gear or skill mod, you are just wasting your hard-earned resources. Yeah, you're flushing those precious resources down the toilet, literally. So if you're doing this, then stop. Because you actually have a better chance of getting struck by lightning than crafting a max mod. No cap. Anyway, with that being said, let me show you a few highly effective ways to farm for these max mods. So as you can see, I have a lot of my mods maxed out and this is because I have a really good farming strategy that works wonders. So not only will I be giving you guys this farming strategy, but I will also be showing you what mods to look out for, how many mods to keep and save as favorite and what not. Okay guys, so let's start with gear mods. For those who don't know, there are three types of gear mods. Offensive, defensive, and utility are primary. Within those are the secondary or sub mods, if you may critical hit damage, skill duration, and shock resistance, to name a few. So to break things down even further, there are three different types of offensive mods, three different types of utility mods, and about 11 different defensive mods. So the rule of thumb here would be to have three of everything, and that's because most builds can hold three mod slots, the mask, vest, and knee pads. No wait, sorry, backpack, I meant to say, not knee pads. So the mask, vest, and backpack have mod slots by default. So three of everything. And depending on your playstyle, maybe six to seven of your preferred attribute mod. For example, if you're a DPS, you may wanna have extra critical hit mods. And if you like using skill, then having extra skill haste mods will do you justice. And just in case you are wondering why seven, well, that's because the chill out mask comes with two mod slots. So if you equip the chill out mask and if you have an improvised holster, gloves, and knee pads, then you'll have seven mod slots that you can put additional mods in. And for those of you who don't know, you can come to the crafting station to craft improvised gear, and all pieces of improvised gear comes with mod slots. For your skill mods, you basically want to have one of each and delete the duplicates with lower stats. So for instance, since I already have a maxed out skill haste mod for the seeker mine, I can go ahead and delete this lower duplicate since I only need one. So now let's see some of the best ways to farm for max roll mods. What makes this first farming strategy so effective is that even if your RNG isn't the greatest, you will still have a greater chance of getting max mod drops. And the way this works is by running countdown on multiple characters. The idea behind this strategy is that each of your characters has a chance percentage if you may, or an algorithm that we call a random number generator. Ever wonder why some players run the new incursion just a few times and get a ton of Ouroboros to drop for them, and others run it tens of times and get nothing? Yeah, there is no coincidence there. Each player has their own RNG algorithm. Now, this isn't a bad thing. However, you can use this to your advantage. So what you're going to want to do is start up the countdown mission, which you can access on the world map by hovering over here. The summit is a great option too if you don't want to do countdown but I find Countdown to be much better because you will only be getting more loot, and the more loot you get, the better the chance at a maxed out mod. Just make sure that you have plenty of room in your inventory because you will be getting a ton of loot, I would say to have 40 slots open on both your mod and gear inventory. Now in this game, the higher the difficulty, the better the loot. However, this does not mean a guaranteed max mod drop, so farming countdown on challenging would be more time efficient. But if you would much rather run countdown on heroic, that's totally fine. So run countdown and make sure that you change the targeted loot to whatever mods you are farming for. Now, if you aren't having any luck after a second run through Countdown, switch to another character and run it again. Just make sure that you select gear mods for your targeted loot, and I recommend running this on the challenging difficulty. Now, if you don't have additional characters or if you just find this method to be a waste of time, then let's talk about this second strategy, which is currently my favorite, and that is farming resource convoys and control points. I've personally gotten a few max roll mods from opening the orange crates after clearing control points. 
So you're going to want to find an area on the open world map that is dropping gear or skill mods, then clear the control points in that area. And you can always reset all control points on your map, making it really convenient to farm control points over and over. And if you have a solid four-piece striker build, you can plow through NPCs quickly. Just make sure that at the end of each control point, you are opening the orange crates located within the control point settlement. These orange crates drop mods as well as gear and weapons. The only downside is that they take 24 hours to reset. So now, this next method is super effective and that is the Floor 10 Summit Farm. For the many players that don't know, a boss will spawn on every 10th floor. So the idea is killing the bosses on this floor, getting your loot and returning to lobby while being careful not to clear the floor entirely. That means leaving a few NPCs alive. Before the boss spawns, you will simply need to eliminate the first wave of NPCs. Once that's done, you should get a message on the screen revealing a named boss, which you should then eliminate as quickly as possible. Then once you do, you may grab your loot and return to the lobby by pulling up your map. From there, you may rinse and repeat. Now, during this summit mission, the new title update 20.3 was released, unfortunately bringing with it numerous issues and bugs in the game. So as you can probably already see, there is no HUD whatsoever on my screen and I'm completely unable to collect any loot. Hopefully this gets patched soon. Now in case you're wondering if your loot will still be there if you mistakenly return to lobby without collecting your loot, the answer is yes, it will still be there waiting for you. Now, if it's your first time in Summit and you don't have any previous checkpoints saved, then I recommend you set the difficulty to normal and once you reach floor 10, return to lobby and change the difficulty back to challenging before you start your farm. Doing this will save you time as it would be a hassle trying to reach floor 10 on a higher difficulty setting. And if you have the time, you can work your way to floor 90 and farm three elite named bosses as opposed to one on floor 10 over and over. However, getting that far ahead will take some time so I recommend you either matchmake and try your luck to see if you can get a group with a checkpoint close to floor 90 to cut the grind short, or just simply farm floor 10. The choice is yours. Feel free to do this on Heroic as well if you feel you have a solid build for it, as you will only increase your chance at getting a god rolled mod drop. If you guys would like to get more out of this method, then reaching the higher floors like floors 70, 80, 90, and 100 will have more bosses for you to eliminate. What makes this a great way to farm max mods is how quickly you can get loot over and over again killing the boss. And this will work even better if you reach the high levels because you will have more named bosses to kill. Not to mention being able to select your targeted loot. I find that the best type of builds to farm floor 10 with is a skill status effect build, preferably an Eclipse Protocol build with the Vile Exotic Mask, or an All Red DPS build. However, don't get too hung up on what build to use as anything will work just fine. But if you guys would like to see a great skill build that you can use to farm floor 10 easily on Heroic and even the Legendary difficulty, then check out the top 5 builds video in the description. It should be the second build in that video where I go over the skill build. That skill build works wonders and you can easily clear floor 10 on Heroic and Legendary. Also, since your skills will be doing most of the work, you won't really be needing to use your gun as much. This gives a great opportunity to add some directives so you can get an increased amount of XP. You might even get better drops doing this, and again, if you aren't having any luck getting good drops, you may try farming floor 10 on another character to see if you have better luck with RNG. So now, this last method will work great for you if you're brave enough to farm in the dark zone and all you need to do is farm landmarks and crates inside the dark zone. I recommend farming in the occupied dark zone as the ODZ will drop higher quality loot. Don't be surprised if you get a ton of god roll loot by farming in the occupied dark zone. However, the challenge is avoiding other players in the dark zone who may potentially hijack your extraction. So if you choose this method, then just be very mindful of other players as the dark zone is a high risk, high reward environment. And it will definitely suck if you finally got the mod you needed only to be stolen by an annoying griefer. You will also have another chance at getting maxed out mods from opening up your DZ proficiency caches as you are farming in the dark zone. This is Prajna. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section. And until next time, peace out.